thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel what I'm about to say now I've said this before multiple times I don't know if this has gotten through to you yet but most people don't want to be free most people don't want real freedom because real freedom is absolute because there's no darkness in it no sickness no decay no worries no stagnation so absolute freedom which is true freedom which only comes from the Holy Spirit most people don't want it what they want is a relief outcome they want a routine that they submit onto everything just works out externally for them that's what most people want do not think that people submit to going to their jobs every day because of necessity because even if they have options besides having to go to, to their jobs every day most people would, would prefer to go to the jobs every day why they get validated it's emotional it's psychological most people don't want real freedom again there's nothing wrong with having a job a regular job I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it it becomes wrong however when it becomes your God when it becomes your, what you rely upon unconditionally when you fail to realize that that job is just a tool that money is just a tool why am I talking about this is because I don't want to make this about money but the issue of money illustrates this the best people don't want to be free most people and here's the catch they don't want you to be free they don't for example let's say you went on holiday a few times and you post some photos on your Instagram what is the first thing a lot of people are going to say where did he get the money doesn't he need to work I mean come on they can't rejoice that you went on holiday and think about you no they have to relate it to their own expectations to their own restrictions and once they can't explain it according to their own restrictions they get they get angry they get pissed off and now they're upset and now they're going to blame you as if you're the one making them upset well they're the ones that are self-centered so now they will bother you with their questions and now you need to explain according to their restrictions how you went on holiday so they are at ease because if you can't do that you are in trouble don't you see how effed up this way of thinking is but that's the way of thinking a lot of people have okay I don't want to relate I don't want to talk too much about money but money illustrates is the best because it's an obvious practical example okay about something else now this is this is less obvious about violence when it comes to violence people either are quiet about it they avoid the subject or they tell you they'll do some martial arts learn how to fight back or they'll tell you just to passively endure it or just run away and keep fleeing all your life very few people are interested to know what's the root of violence that, is a, that it has a paranormal root how many of you knew that the paranormal root of violence is demonic how many of you knew that how many of you were told to cast out the spirit of violence how many of you knew that when you cast out the spirit of violence people's behavior towards you would change because it would reveal how much people embrace violence if though they will never admit it do they want to know that violence just as fear is demonic force with fear not talk about that emotion of danger because that emotion of danger is just emotion of danger to keep your body in safety and talk about fear itself fear itself is demonic violence is also demonic it has its uh, physical and social outworking and human lives but the origin is demonic how many want to know that because once you know that you can get rid of it but do people want to get rid of it are they willing to get rid of it I'm telling you many don't they rather have you having to put up with negativity or having to perish or they rather have you to have to defend yourself of being or carrying guns and all of that instead of you uprooting violence at its root because the moment you uproot violence at its root they are affected they are dealt with because they are contributing to that demonic stronghold and they don't want to be dealt with so they don't want to be free they, because they don't want to be responsible they don't want to change their way of thinking they don't want to give up those unexempt expectations because those unexempt expectations are their gods that they worship 
So now they want you to submit to their restriction. And the moment you don't do that, they'll turn on you. So it can be that you're praying for prosperity, and there's nothing wrong with that. You're praying for the manifestation of prosperity in your life. Now let me tell you, there are times Holy Spirit does not manifest it immediately, not because Holy Spirit has denied your prayer, because why would the Holy Spirit deny something he has promised in his word? That doesn't make that doesn't add up. He doesn't do that. The art time told spirit withholds a manifestation just to show you why he did not give it to you the way you wanted it. Because often we want things our way. We want things to work out our way. But our way doesn't have to be wrong. But the art times Holy Spirit does not want things to work out the way we ask because Holy Spirit wants to show us what we're dealing with. The people we have around because often we think that when our prayers are answered, people are going to be blessed by it, people are going to rejoice. But often it happens that when your prayers are answered supernaturally, people get pissed off, they get angry, and they'll turn on you, and then now they want to do things to you. Now they want, now they will bad things on you. Why? Because they don't want to give up their unexempt restrictions. Well, you know what? Let them remain with their unexempt restrictions. Let them remain with those pagan gods. I'm telling you, the reason why the Holy Spirit delays not really a delay but the reason why he withholds certain manifestations is just to reveal to you what you're dealing with and once you see what you're dealing with you not only praise the lord for withholding certain answers but you also pray differently and more effectively and you you walk more wisely that's what i want to share with you today but that being said agree with christ and be at peace